Hey there, my friends. Hope everybody's having a great day and already praising and worshiping our Lord there at Lawson Road and uh, that Pastor Richard's got great things planned for you guys today. Now, last week, uh, we talked a little bit about peace and how that God is the only one that can give us real peace. Well, this week, I want to move on and talk about something else. I want to talk about patience. Now, patience is a hard thing for us, especially when we're really busy or things just don't turn out the way that we want them to. But that's not the kind of patience that I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is God's patience with us. Now, and y'all excuse me for a little bit this morning because I'm going to be reading a lot of this because it's a little bit of a personal thing uh, for me between me and Tammy. And uh, I want to make sure that I get everything just right. But you know, have you guys ever thought that you were doing the right thing, but it turns out that you really weren't? I mean, that you just knew that you were so right that to the point of arguing with uh, anybody that mattered to you and even getting mad at them when they disagreed with you. Well, I've been there and it's not a pretty thing. Uh, before Tammy got sick with leukemia, she'd been teaching kids uh, out for a while uh, by herself. And that was because I was playing in the church orchestra. And both of these are great things, but the problem is, is sometimes there can be a timing issue with it. And I was playing in the orchestra at the only time that Tammy could go to church. And she felt really uncomfortable and lonely sitting by herself there in church, in the church service. We had lots of disagreements about that and her wanting me to be with her in the service, but I had the calling to be in the orchestra. Well, after Tammy uh, had gotten healed from, being, from the leukemia for, by the Lord and she was able to come back to church, she felt the call to go back and teach again. And as a matter of fact, she said that she'd really like for me to come and to teach with her. But no, 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 couldn't that because I was called to play in the orchestra. Now, not long after that, though, things changed. Uh, all of this has been going on for several years, but I was still sure that I was right. Well, it turns out that I wasn't. Even after all those arguments and disagreements that we had about it, in my prayer time one day, I was reading about the Israelites and how God would uh, set them down in one place and he'd pick them up and He'd move them again because he had a little bit of a plan for them over here. Then he'd move them again because he had another part of the big plan over in another spot. And so he'd have them move from place to place because he had a huge plan for them overall. <laughs> Whoops. There went my thinking. You know, it turns out that God doesn't have just one little thing that he starts you out with in life, and then uh, he never changes it. Things do change. Well, that's, what a, that's a great concept, isn't it? <laughs> Well, I had stubbornly stayed with that plan that I just knew that God had called me to because I loved it. And without even considering that he had something else uh, in mind for me. And I was out of his will without even knowing about it. You know, there's an old saying that says, no matter how far away that you've walked away from God's will for you, the return trip is only one step. Well, even though I still love playing, I took that one step and I quit the orchestra to go and teach with uh, kids with Tammy. Uh, the result was years and years of wonderful blessings, seeing those kids grow and come to know Christ as their Savior. But God had been so patient with me over all those years, and he finally brought me back to the place that he wanted me to be. You know, thank the Lord that we have a patient God that never gives up on us, and he continues to shower us with blessings.
Hope you guys have a wonderful week this week.